Jesus came to earth to serve and to give his life away, to set people free. In life and ministry, it is so important to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Mark 10 45 reads, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life away as ransom for many. Right now, all around us, we are bombarded with messages of how people can serve us, how we can serve ourselves. But Jesus is clear when he calls us to serve others. I know I can get caught up in my to-do list and all the things I must get done for my role here at NCC, as a mom, as a wife, you name it, the list goes on and on. But when we get caught up so much in completing a task, rather than how we serve in the areas of our life, we lose focus on what God has called us to do and the heart behind why we serve. Sometimes slowing down and aligning our to-do list with our mission and our values allows us to see how we can serve best. So I'm going to challenge myself and you today. How can we serve our spouse better? Is it communicating more? Is it simply listening when they need us? How can we serve our children? Maybe it's putting down our phone and simply playing and being present with them. Is it asking a coworker how you can help them? Not out of feeling like we have to, but simply serving to help them achieve their goals for the day. Too often as believers, and I know for me in ministry, I move too quickly to see where I need to be serving and really be present. My challenge for us all is to slow down and make sure that what we have to get done aligns with how Jesus calls us to serve. May we serve with joy and intention around us, not because we have to, but because Jesus first served us.